Hi, welcome back. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the next part of this little tutorial, and we're going to draw an orthogonal drawing. Now, what an orthogonal drawing is, is basically what we have here. We have three different views of this one object. Okay, so we have the front view, we have the top view, we have the side view. The front view is what we can see looking that way. The top view is what we can see looking from the top. And the side view is what we can see looking in from the side. Alright, now, before we get started on our little piece of paper, okay, we need to draw something in here which is going to be the orthographic signal. Now, this symbol, you can see it in your books here. Okay, now there are dimensions for this symbol. The inner circle has a diameter of 10 mils, whereas the outer circle has a diameter of 16. Okay, then there's this funny shape, which is basically 15 mils long. Okay, now the, f the longer tip, that's basically 16 mils high and the other one is 10 mils high. Now we get those measurements from the actual circles. Okay, so you can practice that in your own time. Anyways, <coughs> so we're going to move back to our shape. <coughs> so we're going to start off with this shape first and then we'll move on to our other shapes. Okay, so just basically pick a point on your page that does not interfere with the title block okay so don't start down here because you're just going to run into the title block right start up here okay now there are no measurements on this drawing okay so it's just going to be a rough estimation later on in the term we will do drawings with measurements where you need to be exact okay so I'm just going to start to draw a line Okay, so there's my first line. Alright. Now I'm just going to draw up. And like I said, these are just rough guesses pretty much. Alright, but I'm going to go up, let's say, 60 mils. Okay, so 60 mils. <coughs> I'll go up on this side also, 60 mils. Okay. Then I will join those two lines together. So there we go. So there's our first little shape. Now we're going to draw the next part of the shape. Now I'm going to go up, we'll say, 1.5 mils. I'm going to draw a line. Okay. So now you can see that this is starting to take place. Alright, we have the first little part of this shape. So now I'm going to draw my three little compartments. And I'm going to split them up into 20 mils each. So 20, draw a line, 40, draw a line, and I'm just going to draw up and connect, so that's one, that's two. Okay, now, the next bit is this bit in the middle. So I can estimate that, and I'll just say that it's going to be... Mm, another one and a half mils so I'm just going to measure up one and a half mils okay I'm going to draw a little marker and so I'll do the same on the other side now this box that I'm going to draw here is going to be the exact same 
length as this box here. Alright, so firstly I'll just connect these dots. Okay, now I'm going to go up 1.5 centimeters or 15 mils. So I'm going to just draw a line there. I'm going to draw a line on the other side. Alright, and then I will match the lines again. And there's my inner box. Okay, so looking at the drawing and looking here, it's the front view. Okay, now once we have the front view, alright, things get a lot easier. Alright, so I'm going to go over here and draw the side view. Okay, and if you want to go and draw the top view first, okay, that's fine, doesn't really matter. This is the first one, this is the most crucial one. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a faint line, okay, all the way to this side. Alright, so every one of my major lines in this drawing, I'm just going to draw a faint line across, okay, so, so I've drawn three lines, I can even draw the tops and bottoms of the little box in the middle. Right, now it's going to be a bit hard for you to see, okay, but I know what's happening. Alright, so now I have my lines drawn across. Alright, now, the first thing that I'm going to do is, I'll start with the bottom line first. Alright, now, I'll make this 50 mils. So I'm just going to draw out 50 mils. Okay, now, from that, I've already drawn a line from here that will match up over here okay and also the height okay I know my object is going to be that high so basically I can just draw a line straight up until I hit that top line that I drew faintly okay and I can also draw straight up for this line okay so I have that piece of the shape now I'm going to make the width of this side block say 20 mils actually we'll do one and a half 15 mils Okay, so now I've drawn 15 mils across. Basically, all I need to do is match up this line with the line that is running across. And it will look something like that. And then finally, match up these two lines there. Okay, now these other lines, right, where this box corresponds over here, they are hidden lines so they are represented by a series of dashes okay so there's my next sh uh, shape this is the side view now we'll draw the top view up there so again I'll do the same thing I will run faint lines okay up from each of the major parts of this shape. Okay, now they have to be very faint. Right? Otherwise, you need to rub them out later on. Okay, cool. So, the last part of the shape is going to be the top. Okay, now you can see that there is this area in here, which is there's a gap, so you don't have to draw anything. Okay, so basically we work the same way. Alright, so I will start by drawing a line 
yeah and align there okay now I have you know basically the end point of my shape alright now I'm going to join well, firstly I'll, I'll join the side lines up okay now because my lines are already running right I don't need to measure anything and it's already set out for me okay now I'm just going to go up now this is it's just a rough estimate but it's about 50 mils okay so I'll do the same on the other side so I'll just measure up 50 mils okay so that's done so I'll just join that shape now okay now a couple things that we need the first one is going to be a little top piece and I'm just going to measure off 15 mils and draw a line across okay now these other lines that we have here because you can't see them they are hidden detail lines so again a series of dashes okay now the final bit is this little bit in here alright so again I'm just going to measure up 15 mils and up here 15 mils okay And then I'll just match the lines. And the final line that I'm going to draw needs to go there. So, there you have it. That orthogonal drawing turns into that. These faint lines that you can't really see, okay, you need to rub out and when you hand your work in, try not to have all these construction lines, okay, just have these three shapes. So this is the top view, this is the front view, and this is the side view. Now for this drawing to be complete, you obviously need the orthographic symbol in there. and that's basically it okay that's how you draw an orthogonal drawing there will be one more tutorial which will all be about dimensioning